Hello, and welcome to Popcorn Anatomy. This is your host, Ursula, and today we're going to be talking about two shows that couldn't be more different, except for one little thing. Their main characters. We're calling this one of our theory videos because we haven't made one of those in a while and because this has never fully been confirmed, but we are absolutely certain that everything we're about to say in this video is completely and absolutely 100% true. Between Bones having started its final season two weeks ago and season 9 of The Big Bang Theory ending soon, we feel a long absence of our favorite nerd shows is going to leave us in sorrows. So without further ado, here is our little tribute to two of our most endearing smartasses on popular TV, a video in which we explain why both Sheldon Cooper and Dr. Brennan have Asperger's Syndrome. Now if you don't know what Asperger is, you probably have no idea what we're talking about. Asperger is a type of neurobiological disorder lying at the higher functioning end of the autism spectrum. Many find it similar to pervasive development disorder or PTD because of the delays and development of socialization and communication that they are both characterized with. While some consider Asperger's or Aspies as some people call it to be a type of autism, even sometimes putting it under PTD, others put it into a different neurobiological group entirely. It's been recognized as a distinct neurobiological disorder in most European countries for the past 60 years, but because of the enormous range of autistic conditions that exist and because of a similar similarities to many of the other conditions in its field, Aspies is widely considered to be a type of autism. One thing that makes this condition so different though is that Asperger's characterizes people with a regular to above average level of intelligence and an often unfiltered level of honesty. Sounds familiar? I'm using neuro-linguistic programming to modify your thought patterns. But that's not the only reason these two are so similar. Now that you know a little bit about the condition in case you didn't already, we're gonna get to the symptoms of Asperger's and why the characters fit its characteristics. Because each person and each diagnosis is different, there are many different characteristics that may or may not apply. But since both Sheldon and Dr. B are characters from shows meant to allude to the disorder in obvious ways without ever mentioning it, you're going to notice that most of them do. But just because one of these characters may fit more of the characteristics than the other, it doesn't mean the other is a worse portrayal of someone with Aspies. Not all of the following characteristics are always pertinent. A regular Aspie can have anywhere from some to all of them. So one of the most obvious and common characteristics in an Aspie is social impairment, and there are so many behaviors that fit into this category, all of which one or both of these characters fit. Perhaps most noticeable in both Sheldon and Brennan is their extensive vocabulary and their overly formal style of speaking. Of course they're both brilliant, they have unreachable IQs and computer memories, and this shows in their language. Because of their often high intelligence levels, children with this disorder often learn to read at a very young age and this increases their vocabulary. For similar reasons, Aspies often acquire a pedantic, unusually professional language that may seem awkward compared to regular day-to-day -day colloquialism. Both Sheldon and Dr. Brennan display these characteristics. Then of course we have the impairment and the use of nonverbal communication, gazing, facial expressions, postures, gestures, etc. This is a characteristic relying very much on the two actors playing the roles of Sheldon Cooper and Temperance Brennan. Both Jim Parsons and Emily Deschanel are incredible, as they really nail this. Because Sheldon is more of a comedic character, these cues like his inability to smile on command and his unwillingness to make eye contact when lying are very obvious, making them laughable. Meanwhile, the portrayal of the title character on the drama Bones is so well done, audiences are almost tricked into believing that the constant stare and stiffness are characteristics of the woman playing her, when they're really part of a job well done. In the same way, Brennan's impairment in the volume, intonation, and rhythmic areas of her speech are completely purposeful parts of Deschanel's performance, as they are characteristic of the character's disorder. Flange. Lastly, the final characteristic in the social impairment section of our video lies in the literal interpretation of language. Some of the funniest moments in both Bones and The Big Bang Theory are when Sheldon or Brennan misinterpret common figures of speech or don't catch sarcasm. This can lie in their social impairment, but it can also be contributed to the fact that because Aspies have such a wide range of vocabulary and such an appreciation for words, they'll take words literally, no matter what. This is one of those traits that makes them both so endearing. Next is interpersonal relationships. Aspies are notorious for their disability to interpret and understand feelings, and this is very evident in the character of Brennan at the beginning of the series and in Sheldon all throughout. Because of this, both characters usually develop socially and emotionally inappropriate responses to what their colleagues often tell them, which are often misconstrued. It's not that they want to seem creepy or jerky, they just can't help it because of their disability. Aspies also often have trouble misinterpreting social cues. This is often used for comedic purposes on both shows, and we're sure you can think of many of these instances. Another sometimes pertinent characteristic in people who have Asperger's is their uncomfortableness with changing conversations. Aspies often have difficulty with the changing topics and convos, especially when it's one that they have knowledge about to one that they don't have such a good understanding of. It isn't as much of a running gag on either show as the previous behaviors listed, but it's definitely a problem for Sheldon in several instances of the Big Bang Theory. On Bones, they play it less, but still intelligently with wings at audiences who understand that Brennan has a disorder and isn't just awkward. Last under characteristics, we're going to talk about mannerisms and personal tastes. Inflexibility towards different routines is a very obvious one. We see it a little bit on Bones at the beginning of the show when she wants things between her and Booth to remain platonic, for example, but the most perfect example of this mannerism would be Sheldon Cooper's OCD on The Big Bang Theory. 
This man hates differences in his routine, and this affects all of the characters around him. He hates the fights between Leonard and Penny, but he doesn't want them to move in together. He has to knock three times on doors with the person's name on every three-knock interval. His food is labeled according to the days of the week, and there's the spot. Need I go on? He and Brennan share the motor mannerisms often associated with Asperger's as well. On their respective shows, we see both characters act quick as a turret when they've discovered something. Another very pertinent characteristic for Aspies is their preference of one subject over all others. This is seen in both characters, but possibly a little more obviously in Brennan, who associates everything with anthropology and finds the subject more interesting than everything else. Though not as obvious, we see it in Sheldon too. You might think there's a wide topic of things that interest him, but not so much. It's mostly just science and science fiction, which isn't a direct example of this, but it fits the mold a little. And the last personal case we're going to talk about is Sheldon's interest in flags. Fascinations with maps, globes, and flags is also a common characteristic, and who doesn't remember his Fun with Flags web show? Well, this is Sheldon Cooper presents Fun Mint Flags. <laughs> if you find all this information a little difficult to believe, take it from the shows as writers and creators. Hart Hansen, the creator of Bones, has stated that the character of Dr. Temperance Brennan is based off of an Aspie friend of his. However, her condition and the question of whether or not she has one is unmentioned on the show. The Big Bang Theory has been a little less revealing. However, it's clear that Sheldon is the most peregrine example of an Aspie on TV right now. But even the actor who plays Sheldon Cooper has agreed with the Asperger's theory. That was it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give this a like. Tell us in the comments what show or movie you want us to talk about next. We post new videos every week. See you soon!